This is a fan heater that I got from Bed Bath & Beyond. This is going to be a fan review of it. Back there. Well, first of all, let's look and see what kind of it is. I already know what kind it is. You guys don't. It is a home is. And the camera is not wanting to focus. Well, not right up next to the label, but see, home is. And then you can probably kind of see the fan in there. Blades. Um, I don't know if you can or not. Um, yes. back there you can see some of the wiring in the motor. Hang on. Sorry about this. Um, that light is on when the power is on on it. Here's the controls. It's off, and then that fan is if you want it to blow cool air. Low and high. And this right here is the temperature. Oh, last night it was in the 30s, and I had it all the way up. But... The directions say not to keep it on furniture when it's running, so while we're running it, we're going to move it down here to the floor, like I did last night. Move it way back from the bed so it doesn't cause a fire. And then, first we will do the cold air. Nice and quiet. Oh yes, this feels very good. Um, and then, because it is warm today, it's like 75 up here. 3 degrees from what it needs to be for the air conditioner to come on. And then here is low. Low is heat. So now it's starting to warm up. It stinks though. Ugh. It only stinks when you first turn it on. Now I can't smell it. Unless you get right up in the air's path, then it smells kind of like gr uh, rotten grapes or something or skunk. But other than that, it, it is very good. It puts out very good heat. And then here's high. Not much louder, actually. And it gets warmer, too. Yes, it's really very good. Listen to the motor. You're not typically supposed to touch the exterior of it while it's going, so I'm not going to touch that too much except when I'm turning it around. Now one thing, let me demonstrate this real quick. Let me demonstrate something real quick. Say I turn it off. Now watch this. See, did you guys kind of see that little flicker right there? See, can you notice it now? If I do it more. That's right. It sucks a lot of power out of the grid. Um, whenever you turn it, first turn it on. Um, and yeah. So what happens is it's kind of, it kind of is like an air conditioner or 
a typical heater because what happens is, is you just set it at the degree you want it on, but then you keep it on low or high or whatever. We're going to turn it off. Um, and then it's like a thermostat. It just comes back on, uh, when I don't know, uh, what makes it come back on, but like an air conditioner, it, when it gets above 78, that's what we keep it, um, it. Oh, I forget. Then it turns on. So, I don't know what, what this thing is. It does that. But, um, anyway, what I was saying is when it turns on, like, at nighttime. Like, at nighttime, I sleep at that closet door, or that closet light on, just to have some, um, some heat. Or some light. I apologize about that. Um. So, like, for those of you who do do that, that could be kind of freaky. If that, that light just dimmens for a second. So, I would give this thing a ranking 9 out of 10. Because of the smell and the how it dimmens the lights like that, but I know it can't help that, so, anyway, and I give it that rate, cut also, cut that good rate, because the cool air is very cool, and the warm air is very warm, so, thanks for watching, I hope you enjoyed the video, and that's it.